Hi, this is Chef Shahid Rambali, and you're watching Stir It Up, The Adventure Chef. We're actually headed down south along the west coast of St. Lucia. We're going to be doing a round the island tour. And uh, last season, for season uh, six, you guys saw us go all around the island visiting very specific uh, areas that had to do with the St. Lucia National Trust and Reserve. And we also uh, want to say great, good welcome to our sponsors from last year, Barron's Foods, who's going to be with us this year as well. And uh, this year, we want to emphasize on three different topics. The first topic is environment. We wanted to uh, go through different areas that are environmentally sensitive in St. Lucia and show the significance of each area. Also, we want to uh, concentrate on eat, eating healthy. A lot of uh, healthy food here in St. Lucia, a lot of organic options. And the last thing is buying local. We support a lot of our local farmers and all of our local merchants. And I want to explain to, um, to everyone why it's so important to buy locally, not only for health reasons, but also because it helps the local economy. And uh, so we're gonna be visiting a lot of uh, places around the island, locally uh, run and operated. And places that are very typical and traditional for when you're doing around the island tour, St. Lucia, places where you typically stop. So join me, Shahid Rambali, on Stir It Up, The Adventure Chef. Let's get going. This episode of Stir It Up is brought to you by Media Solutions, Chateau Maigo, Bato Maigo, Chateau Maigo Villas, Peter and Company Limited, and Baron Foods. I'm here with my good friend Sarah. Sarah runs one of the stalls here in Roseau, and it's one of my favorite stops whenever we're headed down south. Sarah, I want you to tell me a little bit about yourself and a little bit about the services and products you offer here. Okay, no problem. Hi, my name is Sarah, and I've been working this stall for the last five years now. Right here, you get assortment of local souvenirs. Everything you get see here is locally made. We have some local spice from. We have banana ketchup, banana barbecue sauce, a local assortment of local products. Tell me a little bit more about your spice rum. I noticed you you make this yourself. Yes, I do. Well, it sure does have a lot of things in here. I yes, see. I see a little bit of. Uh, in there is cinnamon. The cinnamon, the canal. There is cloves. There is bay leaves. There is uh -huh. ginger, and there's a wood called guava de. Yeah, guava de. That, that's the one that gives it the special color, huh? Yes. Might one, I, if I just smell it a little bit. No problem. Wow, that that sure does smell strong here. I bet this hair will make me sleep good. Yes, it cures mm -hmm. all ills. Well, Sarah, it was a pleasure speaking with you, and we like look forward to stopping back again. Okay, see you soon. Absolutely, and you have a beautiful place, so if you guys come down the stretch here, be sure to visit my good friend Sarah. All right, thank you very much. Hey, folks. One of our first stops in background here is the beautiful fishing village of Anse Lorraine. If you guys remember, one of my last episodes a few uh, seasons ago was the Junior Creole, and we did the majority of the episode here in Anseray. Anseray is a very well-known fishing village and is located in the central part of the western coast of St. Lucia. Anseray has a lot of special significance being one of the original French settlements, and it also has one of the oldest, largest Catholic churches on the island. Anseray has a very special relationship to, to myself uh, here in Marigold Bay because we're such close neighbors. So we frequent this area quite a bit. Hi guys, we're here in uh, just approaching Canaries, and I'm with my friend here, Claudius. Yeah. And my other friend, Georgie here. Georgie is uh, what you call a tête chien, a boa constrictor. Yeah, boa. And he's boa. extremely friendly. I'm gonna pet him over here, on, not on the business end, but uh, he's he's very friendly, and he greets all of our visitors here on the island as they go southbound towards the the, the pitons. And my friend Claudius, Claudius, tell me a little bit about the snake, a little bit about you and what you're doing here. Tell us a little well, bit about what's happening well, here. I have the snake to entertain the people in St. Lucia Island and to, to entertain all the foreigners and to entertain all the Lucian also. But some, some Lucian, they're afraid of it, but I always tell them not to be afraid of the boas because the boa is protected from the forest in St. Lucia Island. So this is a very small one, huh? How big is that? He's about what, six, eight Well, foot? this one, I could say, this one at least, I could say a six feet long. Uh-huh. A six feet long, and I could say, well, that around a six feet long and about 20 pounds. I'll try to touch about it on the head here. Uh, uh, he feels very smooth, very nice. 
Very nice to meet you, Mr. Georgie. We're here in a beautiful area of canneries, just approaching the village, or about maybe 15 minutes off, and this is one of my favorite stops here at Horizon Cocktails. The good folks here at Horizon Cocktails make one of my favorite things, it's not usually dessert, but my thing I love before dessert is my spice rum. This has one of the best selections of spice rum here on the island, and the spice rum is basically a local rum which is infused with different flavors. The more traditional Wabane and uh, the Abaklan tray here is, is all these different herbs and spices. This is very typical, it has nutmeg, cinnamon, cardamom. I see a little bit of bay, uh, bay leaf, uh, you know, phalilum. And uh, it's all mixed and it's actually uh, fermented with all of these spices for a period of time and then the rum extracts all the flavor and each one's very unique. Here we got the, this is uh, like the original flavor. Then we have things like passion fruit here. Uh, we have, uh, I see a little bit of nutmeg, a little ginger. So I'm going to sample one and I have a lot of variety and not enough time because if I was here all day, we'd go through every single bottle. But the one I have my eye on, which is very unique, which I haven't seen before, and I got my little sample cup, is uh, passion fruit. So I'm a big passion fruit fan. I can see it's got a few of the seeds in there. And I'm just going to give it a little try. Mmm. Very nice. You could really have the acidity of the passion fruit. And uh, it's not too sweet. And definitely has a kick. So I recommend the, pa the passion fruit. Next time we'll try the mango out. So anyway guys, when you're way to the Pitons as you're stopping by, be sure to visit our good friends are here at Horizon Cocktails. Um, it's just a few minutes from canneries. They also do a, a beautiful lunch, great food. They have a great bar with all the top shelf liquor and a beautiful view of the canneries valley. So guys, on our next stop, we're gonna head down south and uh, maybe I might take one more sample of rum before we hit the road. Don't touch that dial, we'll be right back.